To open the document parser, click the document parser icon on the ribbon. Let's get started by loading a document. Click the load document icon. Select your file, then click open. Notice that the contents of the document have been loaded in the window. Below the document, you'll find settings that we'll need to review. The document parser can be used to parse documents into entities of any class. It's most commonly used for requirements, and we'll demonstrate that here. The class is set to requirements by default. If you wish to parse into a folder, you can select that here. If you need to create a folder, use the new folder icon. For this demonstration, I'll leave the setting as is. Next, we can select a document entity. This allows the parser to create relationships between the parsed entities and their source document to ensure traceability. Click the Select button to open the Select Document dialog. Select the document entity appropriate for the document you are parsing. If you don't have that entity yet, click New, enter the name, then click OK. Click OK one more time to commit this change. The prefix field sets a prefix for names of all entities created during the parsing process. I'll leave that blank for now. The collections of words the parser will key on to separate requirements from other content are specified in the keywords field. The generally accepted set is shall, will, and must. Note that if no keywords are specified, the user will be prompted for confirmation before the document is parsed. If the user chooses to proceed, all content will be identified as entities rather than debris. Once you've specified the settings, click the Parse Document icon. The document is parsed in the number, name, description, paragraph number, paragraph title, and refines relationships are each created per the document parsing rules. Entities are created as requirements if they include one of the specified keywords. You should review the parsing results to be sure you are satisfied. Entities are created and marked as debris if the statement does not contain a keyword. You should assess whether debris is truly information that can be discarded, or if it contains a poorly stated or implied requirement. While the parser is extremely valuable for quickly bringing your data into Genesis, Heavy-duty analytical work, requirements allocation, and restructuring begins after the document is parsed.